back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are now in the round two of Swiss in the Pokemon Malaysia Open live at PopCon 2019. I'm Sunny again, and my co-host for today is Darren. Yeah, right here. So, what do we have for round two? For round two, we have Matthias versus Martin, both from Singapore. Yeah. Taking the big stream today uh, for game two. Um, yeah, it looks like seems like it's gonna be a friendly fire, right? Where Singapore versus Singapore. Like in the first round we had Malaysia versus Singapore, but today for this second round we're gonna have Singapore versus Singapore, so it's a friendly fire, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, um, well, both being very established players in the game, uh, very yeah. respected as well. Yeah, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Martin has always been a very uh, trickster-like kind of a <laughs> player because most of his teams are very unorthodox. Where, right. Where, yeah. yeah, I think uh, there are a lot of, um, I wouldn't say questions, but surprise factors that really catch everyone off guard, which puts him so far in the yes. lead, so far. Yes, and furthermore, we are playing best of three, so the fact that he's able to keep up with all his tricks is pretty amazing, Very I impressive, say. very impressive on my box. So, if you look into the team preview, you can see that Matthias is carrying a Yvotao, Groudon, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Stakataka, and Venusaur. And Martin having the famous Kyogre, Xerneas, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, the Cursed Shedinja, and Ferrothorn. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Matthias' uh, team is like, he has a fast mode and a slow mode, I would say. You see there's a Groudon, Venusaur, and then there's a Stakataka, which is a slow Pokemon. Martin's side, he doesn't really have much form of speed control from the outlook unless the Tapu Fini has uh, some way of using... Yeah, but, but like, we, like we've mentioned, Kyogre with Choice Scarf, it's amazing, it's amazing. And Water Spout... Yeah, big damage. Oh, big damage, especially in full HP. Yeah, but something you don't want to get hit. Yeah, with. but you see, Martin is carrying that Shedinja. <laughs> that's gonna be the <laughs> that's gonna be the problem. Mm. I think it's one of the minor problems in this case, but can really come back to bite him if he's not expecting. Yeah, but Shedinja, I think he is bringing Shedinja for the matchups against. Kyogre, but if Matai doesn't really have Kyogre, I don't think he might bring Shedinja in. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So anyways, uh, we are going to see, why are they, they going to lead? So... Kicking enough? right now. Yeah. See. Pokemon Trainer, Hard Rock. <laughs> Just in vain. Just in vain. It's Inora Xerneas coming out on Martin's side. Yeah. And... Matai is coming out with Coco Groudon. Interesting pair, I Electric Surge. Yeah, Electric Surge preventing the sleeps and also yeah. increased electric damage. Very huge bonus, two move bonuses, uh, fire types and electric types from Electric Surge. But we can't avoid, or we can't ignore the uh, fairy aura that Xernia yes. Provides. So right now you can have increased fairy damage from fairy aura, increased fire damage from drought, and increased electric damage from electric terrain. <laughs> well, I'm sure Martin is gonna go for the fake out or something. He's probably gonna go for fake out to one of those Pokemon. So there's already the fake out pressure very early on. I think he's going for the um, fake out, but probably on to what Pokemon? What do you think? Coco. Oh, he's actually drawing the Coco. He's expecting it. Yeah, going to the Stakataka. Ooh. Now this is what... May go for the... Fake up. Yeah, You're there right, yeah, he does there fake out the Coco. Yeah, he needs to go. But he's going for the Geomancy. Yes. This keeps the Xerneas in check, sending out the Stakataka. But what will Groudon go for? Yeah, Most probably go for an attack, right? I think. Yeah. Because Martin is going for the pick out German, see, so Matai is probably just switching up Coco for Stack Attacker and yeah. making Groudon go for the offensive. But the question is, what is he going to go for? His blades, I think, will be the most logical. Knowing that he will hit the. Oh. Going for the spots. <laughs> well, you're kind of proven wrong. He wasn't going for the precipice, he was going for the sword stance. That's even more impressive at this point. <laughs> so now. The Groudon is actually a plus one attack because Incineroar yeah, has... The Intimidate, yep. cutting off that one level of attack, I 
think it'll still hit really hard. Yeah, it's still gonna it's gonna hurt even if it's just plus one. Yeah, Z Zenith is just gonna go for the moon blast. Is it gonna? Ooh. Just barely hanging on. Yeah, hanging on. Activating the fifty percent berry. Ooh. Wow, all that, that, that effort. That, yeah, that's all a that very effort. clutch survive yeah. on Matthias and like Groudon. And Groudon is just going to go for the precipice blades. Will it go? For oh, it takes out the instant roar. Well, I mean, as expected from a plus one tag. That's <laughs> and a trick room from the stack attacker. <laughs> so now the Zenith is the slowest thing in the field. <laughs> yes. Putting putting Martin in a very difficult spot, but Ferricon coming out, definitely making use of the trick room. Yes. Actually it does because uh, Ferriton it's pretty slow. Not as slow as Stack Attacker, but Stack Attacker can't really do much. Yeah, to it can't do much. The only thing you can do is probably handle the Xerneas. But Ferriton just yeah. posing a threat to Groudon. Yep, it does. You know, I, I have to admit, Matthias has uh, trained his Groudon really specially defensive. With the fact that he could survive that Moon Blast. Because if you remember in the previous round, uh, JS's. Uh, uh, JS's the Groudon. Yeah, did not God. yeah, that was. Anyway, so we see a switch out into the Xerneas from Matthias. Yeah. Removing the Sword Stuns buff. Xerneas is going for the Protect, but what will Matthias go for? As expected, I think, you know. Yeah, Gyro Ball. You, wanna you wanna really want to take out the Xerneas as fast as possible. And the Power Wave just goes into the ground on slot, but it's not going to do effective damage Definitely. against the uh, Evo Tower. Good direct call from Matthias switching out the ground on. He needs to preserve it uh, for the late game. Yeah, just in case, you know, there is uh, some other threatening Pokemon on uh, yeah. uh, Martin's side, You're especially the Kyogre. Definitely. Yeah. If he switches in with, if he switches in the Kyogre and has no weather control, that's where everything will take a turn for the worse for Matthias. Yes. So we do see my, back, yeah. resetting everything. Yep, yep, there you go, the Kyogre. Yep. Definitely, definitely. So I thought Matthias was conserving the ground on in case he, because of a possibility of losing the weather war. Yep, the weather war at this point, like we've mentioned, weather is seeing a lot of play, especially rain. Gyro ball going straight to the going yeah. straight to the Kyogre. And another gyro ball from Veraton onto the Evil Town. Critical, critical hit. hit. I'm not sure if that really mattered because it would have been a two shot anyways. Um it might, because you see the Evil Town well, okay, died now box. Unless it goes for that, that is something. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess the crit did matter. Did matter indirectly. Yeah. 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 But now Kyogre is in and Staka Taka is not able to two hit knockout it. So we speed because we saw the gyro damage did less than fifty percent. Yep. There we go. I think Matthias has to go for the uh, logically the Tapu Koko because he doesn't want to lose the ground. Knowing that Martin still has access to switching out to the Xerneas. If he checks to make him with the switch back in with the character the next turn, that's where that's where Matthias is gonna be in a bit of a pickle. Yes, that's true. Unfo but for unfortunately, right now Trick Room is still up, so Coco is still in his. Oh, but you're right. He yeah. does switch into the Coco. I think regardless, I think it's a matter of preserving the weather. Yeah, you're right. You're you need right. to do as much damage as possible. And yeah, then, then, sure. then again, the Xerneas that is gonna switch out is unable to do Geomancy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Reliably, at least, reliably. Hey, wait, does it? He, he, he did not go for the Geomancy just yet, did it? He did. He did. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. Yeah, I, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Fine, so fine, no worries. I'm not sure if the Coco is gonna murder the Kyogre. But he can't, because it's slow in Trick Room. Yes. Uh, but knowing that Kyogre has lost. More than 25% of his HP is not gonna do a lot with uh, water spell. He's probably just going for the origin powers. Rock slide. Ferraton flinch. The flinch. Thunderbolt. Ooh. And that's a knockout for sure. Rip. Wow. Do you know what that means? The Kyogre is twice stuff. Yeah. That's <laughs> knowing that the Coco went first. <laughs> yeah, knowing that the Coco went first in, in, in the trick room, we know we know that the that. That revealed a lot. Yep. That revealed a lot. 
But I mean, you know, what Kyogre doesn't run uh, Choice Cup at this point? Well, some run some unconventional things like Mystic Water yeah. or s some obscure Waterium Z for yeah. some reason, <laughs> but uh, rarely Waterium Z, la. mostly, <laughs> mostly Z. Mystic Water. And hey, uh, you never expect these kind of things at this point. Yeah, so we are seeing Xerneas and Ferratons. Oh, Xerneas just goes for the Protect. Because yeah. we're still having Trick Room actually. Yeah, still. I think this is the last uh, last turn for Trick Room. Yeah. Coco is so preserving himself. Gyro Ball, of course, to the Xerneas. What will Leech Seed go Ooh. for? Oh, wow. Of the course, the Stack Attack. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, Ferraton is going to heal up quite a bit with the Leftovers and the... Yeah. See, this is where the uh, drought does come in, which uh, the preserving the Groudon does matter. Because after this, under rain, uh, without the rain, uh, Ferraton just can't take a hit under drought. Yes. Zenyas fails to protect. protect. Thunderbolt onto the Ferraton. But, you know, just chipping him. Yep. Not enough to matter after the leech seed and leftovers. Uh. Gyro Ball just <laughs> knocking out the Double Coco with ease. Uh, and another Gyro Ball knocking out the Xerneas with ease. Yeah, with ease. Trade to trade, back to back. But in Matthias' favor. Matthias' favor, yes. Very huge favor. Very smart move, preserving the Groudon for the late game. Yes. Aradon killing up with the Leech Seed and the God Forbidden Leftovers. Yes, but Matthias has two Pokemon left, and last Pokemon is the Ground Dot Leech Root, which probably seals the deal right here. Yeah, I mean, it's coming up with the drought, and well, I think it's just gonna. Yeah, un unless, like, the Ferraton is somehow able to pick up the kill onto the Ground Dot. If, let's say, the Ground Dot does something and it misses. Going for the Fire Punch. Which doesn't miss. <laughs> yeah, which doesn't miss. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a knockout for sure. Um, so Iron Barbs, doesn't matter. It's end of the round one? Yep. Oh, sorry, round one. Yeah, it is round yeah, one. Round one, yeah, what am I talking about? So, the guy <laughs> takes it with a 2 0 win onto Martin. Rob, half, what does that even mean? Hard Rob. Umtai is looking really confident. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, he does looks very confident. I think he has the right speed control. He once trick room is up, but Martin realized that his Xerneas is in a bit of a pickle. He can't. Yeah. It's the slowest thing on the field, and it's always threatened by the stack attacker. Yeah, very good switching. Very good switching. Preserving the Tapu Koko especially, uh, knowing that the Kyogre might have come in to control the weather as well. And the fact that the Kyogre is scarf means that the Koko will win the speed in Under speed. trick room. Yes. Very important detail. Yes. So I think for Ma uh, Martin, I think the key adjustments he might need to make is to find a way to beat the Stark Attacker from setting up the Trick Room, I would say. Surprisingly, he didn't bring the Shedinja. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, 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 wouldn't think, I wouldn't I wouldn't bring the Shedinja. Yeah, I, I don't think Shedinja might help that much in the, in the map. It could probably wall... It doesn't really wall most Pokemon that uh, Matthias is carrying. What is it walling? It has one hitch. Oh, uh, Kyogre. <laughs> Kyogre, yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> Mainly Kyogre. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. It's by bringing Shedinja and knowing what Shedinja does, since in this matchup Shedinja can't do anything, so Matthias instantly knows that out of the six for one that Martin is very carrying. He will not bring Shedinja, yeah. so it's only have he doesn't have to think of which five Pokemon Martin is bringing. Yeah, and also, um, I think at this point, probably the Feeny, because Feeny has access to a move called uh, Haze, which does reset stat changes. Mm, yeah, but he uh, might Haze, have it. We'll but, never know. But Haze doesn't really affect much of uh, Matthias's Pokemon. Exactly, that's what, what I'm trying. To, because he knows, knowing the he has nothing on his arsenal that requires a stat boost. He doesn't ex expect the Fiend to come in. It's more of a player perspective for both sides. Mm, yeah, wait. Oh, I guess they are both ready. Yeah. yeah so, let's see what round two. What is uh, so Matthias and Martin going to lead? Are they going to lead the same things or are they going to 
switch it up. After the game, I think. Yeah. yeah. Is Martin just gonna go for the fake up Jum and see play, or is he gonna switch things up this time? Most straightforward. Going oh. for the Zernus and the Fini. Okay, he, he did yeah. switch things up a bit. Interesting choice though. Fini. Coco Groudon. Same. That's the same lineup. Yeah. The if, first if, if, it ring, if, it, if it doesn't. If it's not. Uh, if it works, don't fix it, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> don't don't make changes yeah. to what you think will win you the game. Yeah. If it won you once, why not twice? And fortunately for this time, there is no electric terrain. Instead, there's a misty terrain. Yes. Oh. Not sure how this will fare. Zernius probably going straight for the geomancy. Probably. Yeah. It Most logically, it might go for the German C. We join the crowd on this time. What is Paris playing do? It's Cinderor being sent out. Yeah, fake out pressure. But most likely. But the fake out, what will he gain from the fake out at this point? Letting the German C set up. Oh, but we do see the finish switches out onto the Incineroar <laughs> as well, so. Both players expecting both players to do not the same thing it's but I don't know why is he but the Incineroar on Martin's side is, uh, has the intimidate fight intimidate onto the Incineroar on Martin's side so that's kind of good for Martin right yep going for the world switch yes uh, what do Martin's switch out I think he's anticipating uh, seeing what Pokemon that Martin is have right now he might just vote switch to switch out into maybe most likely stack, stack attacker attack it, yeah. it checks the checks the yeah there we go checks the Xerneas make sure it's under control yes and the fake up pressure as well yes going for the Destin though that's something else I think uh, Martin knew that <laughs> what yeah, he might going, be yeah. too risky yeah. so it just goes for the offensive he'll probably switch out the Xerneas at this point or protect but he can't allow the stack attacker to pull off the trick room yes exactly. that's what's dangerous on his side yeah, the trick room. Once trick room is up, the Zernius is in a big pickle. Yeah, very big pickle in the pickle jar. It's just not gonna do well for him. Bringing back the Incineroar on Martin's side, going for the Kyogre, mm. bringing the rain. Yeah, bringing the rain. But knowing that he suffered on the trick room, is it safe to send in Kyogre at this point? Uh, maybe because Kyogre could survive under the trick room. Wow, just this going for the Geomancy. Well, this might be what he is expecting. He might go for the Gyro Ball right off the bat. Will he? He might, but it's still a very, very risky Very thing. risky, very risky, but high risk, high reward. If he takes out the Xerneas right here, right now, he has nothing to worry about. What does the Incineroar do? Incineroar just goes going for the, the U turn. Okay. Okay. That's actually pretty good. If uh, He might switch into the Groudon. Yep. My switch in the guard now. Just to switch the weather up. Yeah. Forces him to switch and waste a turn for the Kyogre. S depleting that uh depleting the HP just helps out from yeah, the just hit the wall spout. Yeah, I mean any little any little chip damage helps, but right now what is the stack attacker gonna do? Is it gonna go for the trick room and oh, set up perfectly? Ball? Trick room, I think it's safe. Yeah, it's bad, probably gonna go for trick room, right? Ooh, there we go. go Gyro Ball straight to the Xerneas. Knocking out after the speed boost for sure. Even F without the speed boost, it would have knocked out. It would have knocked out. It would be a speed knockout, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is what I was expecting. It's, it's so dangerous to leave the Xerneas, and Matthias is aware of the Xerneas. Now, I'm not sure what his counterplay is. Yeah, but. We do see Incineroar and Incineroar from Martin's side, so put fake out pressure and fake we, out we pressure. do know that the Kyogre is scarf, so fake out water spout maybe. Yes, yes. Under the sun though. Because the thing is under the sun, that's the yeah. main thing. Yeah. This is what the U-turn was about. Groudon making its use very well. This forces Kyogre to either go for the straight on attack or make the waste of the turn for the switching. Yeah, but if it, even if the switch is gonna switch into Tapu Fini. Yeah, exactly. It's not gonna be worth the effort. Yeah, so is it? I think Martin is just. He might go for the fake out water spell, but how? The question is, how is Matthias gonna react to the fake out water spell? Is he just gonna go for the protect, or if is, is he gonna try to out maneuver and go for, go on the offensive move for some reasons? 
Yeah. He might go for the Swords Dance play again. We never expected that. Kyogre switching out, going back to the Feeny as we know. Okay. Oh, Feeny. So sure. the terrain is still the same. Staka Taka we switches out. Into Incineroar. Incineroar. Okay, good call. Very, very good safe. Call. Very okay. safe play. Very safe play. No Fine wonder nothing. he went for the Cairo Ball. Ooh. What is the Incineroar from Martinsa gonna do? Oh wait, Kratos just gonna go for Protect yeah. first. Very safe play this round. And Knowing he has nothing to lose, but better to be safe than sorry. And a fake out to the protected Kratos. Yes. So a whole lot of nothing happened, just a few switches. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, on, on the bright side, I mean, on, on the different side of things, uh, Matthias does bring his Incineroar in, so that does give Fake Out pressure. Mm -hmm. Yep, and Incineroar on Martin's side, losing access to Fake Out on the turn, uh, for the next turn. Yeah. It's not looking good for Martin. And also the minus one attack. Gaudon might even switch out just to preserve the weather. It is possible, game. yeah. Well, and he has nothing to lose. Yes. Since uh, Matash has four Pokemon remaining. There we go. We see the withdraw, selling out the stack attacker. Okay. But he might go for the flap, it's not sure if he'll do anything. Oh, Incineroar switches out to Kyogre. Oh, that's a that's pretty good switch. Yeah, pretty good switch. Very good switch. Bringing in the rain, he's changing the weather once more. What is the Incineroar gonna do? Is the Incineroar gonna go for the fake out? Nature's man is probably on this stack attack. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yeah. So he the Incineroar did not go for the fake out. So it probably goes for the U turn. U turn. Yeah. This was what I was expecting. He might send out the Coco. Coco or yeah. expecting the switch would be his best choice. That's true. That's true. But he's going for the ground to, to to take control of the weather. Yeah. Not allowing the origin powers and the water spout to do any more damage. Yeah, but I think I think at this point water spout is not really gonna do much damage yeah. since it's With twenty five percent health lost. Yeah, it, it took two U turns from the Incineroar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> origin Pulse still does decent damage but not enough to matter. Um yes, but it's still it might threaten the Stakataka, so Stakataka can't definitely. go for the trick room. Because to be honest, Stack Attacker definitely finished his job. It took out the main threat. Now Kyogre being the only threat, switching it out, going for an Incineroar to get the attack down. Yeah, Intimidate. firing the Intimidate onto the Groudon and to the Stack Attacker. So that kind of hurt a bit. Just a bit. Unless for some reason, Feeny goes for Haze next <laughs> You Rather just goes for precipice plates. Going for the precipice plates, not knocking out Incineroar this round, but giving a 50% berry, making it harder to knock it out now. Nature's Man is going on to the Groudon, setting up the KO possibly for the uh, for the Kyogre next turn. Kyogre oh, uh, going for the uh, Trick Room this time. Now this is a bit interesting because. Even though Matthias went for the Trick Room, the slowest thing on the field now in Trick Room is actually the Groudon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because Groudon was <laughs> shown to be faster than Incineroar and Tapu Fini, so by... What? Sure I mean, this Trick might... Room is just gonna... He might switch out the Groudon for the Incineroar. Do see Incineroar switching out to Kyogre, but is the Groudon gonna switch out? We will see after the rain. He comes. might switch out to the Coco. You're there right. we go. Yeah, he switches out the Groudon onto the oh, Incineroar. I think he was expecting the uh, Incineroar to attack on the turn, but I think this is okay. This yeah. is okay. Yeah, the wet, yeah, the weather mind games, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stack attack are going for the rock slide, avoiding from Kyogre. Tough feeling, not even taking that much damage, to be honest. Going oh, for the Skull. Skull. Rain boosted, that's not, not a dead cat. Not tail. <laughs> Debating <Yeah>. the berry. <laughs> both berries expanded from both sides of the incinerators. That was perfect. Yeah. Get it? Because yeah. Paul yeah, yeah, it's perfect, yes. <laughs> so I'm sorry. But interesting, the Skull did not do that much damage. This is even under rain. Yes, under rain. It's, and it's not like the Tapu Fini got scout, uh, uh, got uh, snarled or anything. 
maybe it's just uh, maybe the Incineroar is just very special defense. Very bulky, yeah. yeah very, very bulky, bulky special, special defense. defense side of things. Interesting. This does change the matchup, but Brock's like hitting this time around. Expecting the flinch. Kyogre? Incineroar just goes for the U-turn. I think just want to change the weather back yeah. into the sun. To make sure that the Origin Powers doesn't do as much damage. Critical hit, don't think it matters. Yeah, it's not effective yeah. damage anyways. Okay, so it's Groudon coming in? It's Groudon is coming in? Probably the... Yeah, yep. definitely. He just wants to reset the weather. He can't afford to have the Origin Powers being at boosted power. Yes. Knowing the Water Spot isn't going to do jank. Going just for the scout on the ground on, but if the it not much damage, burn. Burn. that's the thing that I was expecting. Yeah, just get it. flinch okay. on the Kyogre. <laughs> okay, that's all it. <laughs> so there was a flinch on the Kyogre and a burn on the ground on, but oh, the burn really hurts the ground on, don't you think? Definitely, ground on not being much of a utility besides weather control at this point. Unless, unless he goes for the sword stance once more. <laughs> yeah, sword stance, taking it back to normal damage. Hey. Yeah, big brain plays. Big, yeah, big brain plays, <laughs> man. Because it's his life is uh, on timer since he's got burnt. Yeah, it, it just I don't know what Groudon is gonna do now. Yeah, because if he switches out, it's gonna be a liability in that late game. He actually switches it out though. Going Tapu for Coco. the Tapu Coco. Bringing out the electric terrain. Kyogre might switch out to the Incineroar to be honest. This yeah. might be the only way to preserve the rain. He needs to stall out the uh, Trick Room. There we go, the, the switch coming in Incineroar. Yep. A lot of switches happening no in this switches. game. No they, switches. <laughs> they're definitely trying their best to go for yeah, the mind I, games. I think Staka Taka is like minus 3 or something. Minus 3, yes, correct. Minus 3 attack. What will Rock Slide like do? Nothing. It does like 10, 10 over damage, but more importantly, activating the pinch berry. <laughs> oh, no. Tapu Fini really flinches like it matters anyways. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really. I mean, like Tap Tapu Fini took some time in the berry and got flinched, but you know, in end of it, Tapu Fini, it's healthy now. Yeah. We're not even expecting the rock slide to do anything. Yeah, the rock side at this point is just dealing negligible damage to both sides. <laughs> yeah, and um, now he, Incineroar has access to fake out. Yep. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't fake out the Coco, unless the Coco Un is going to switch in. Unless mind games, of course. Yes, but withdrawing the stack attack and sending out the Incineroar probably trying to lessen damage on the fake out and the knockoff. Yeah, Possibly I even Flat blitz at this point. And also probably resetting the minus attack from the start. Yes, yes, yes. That would be the, I think that would be the most important. <laughs> <laughs> and Tapu Goku just goes for the protect. And he's oh, yeah, oh, out. No fake out. Straight off the flare blitz on the Coco. Nature's madness, madness. Both Ooh. on the Coco. What? Was he expecting something from that play? Mm, I, I mean, maybe a switching. Maybe Martin was anticipating the switch as I he did flare blitz and Nature's madness. Well, the good thing yeah. is that uh, Tapu Koko went for a protect, so it actually helped out. Uh, it actually helped Matthias in a lot in, in this in this round because Incineroar and Tapu Fini just did a bunch of nothing. Yeah, I mean they're just switching in and out and in and out and in and out. Unfortunately, Trick Room is up, so we have to keep that in mind because Tapu. Uh, right, right now, Tapu Koko is the fastest. Yep. Ooh, fake out into the Z move. Z move. Z Electrium. Ooh. Who is he going on? Probably the Fini. Yeah, probably onto the Tapu Fini. He's right? taking a Fini, to be honest. Yeah. Gigavolt Evo. Just gonna fire off that electric attack onto the Incineroar. Okay, but electric Does it knock it out? electric boost. Definitely, up. definitely takes That's it out. Rest right. in peace. That's goodbye. Goodbye, Incineroar. And Martin Bing having gra uh, Oh, I, and I see the play because he was taking out the Incineroar so that he could um, he could prevent the Kyogre from taking the uh, the free switch in because yes. he still has the Groudon. So now that Kyogre has come in for the from that auto switch, he can switch out to the Groudon and just cripple Ky Kyogre's attacks. Yeah, like 
weather control. Weather control. By picking up a KO, he gets the weather control. And he sees that Incineroar is a bigger threat than Apophini. Preserving the Incineroar for the free fake out. Groudon being dead weight just sent out right now. Controlling the weather on his behalf. Origin Pulse definitely not going to be doing as much as we expect. Yep, not not even 50% of the Tapu Koko. Yep. Knocking out the Groudon, but the Groudon has already did his job. Yep. Job well done, and that's enough to take it out. Under Electric Surge, of course, there's yes, no uh, doubt. And that's not even a Thunderbolt, that's just a boot switch. It's just a boot switch. Yeah. So, with the Kaga knocked out, so Martin only has a Tapu Fini facing off against. Three Pokemon. Yes, the Incineroar. <laughs> and what's gonna. What is gonna bring? Probably gonna bring the Coco. Going for the heal powers, but nothing to heal. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Unless of course the team goes for the heal on the Incineroar. <laughs> 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 so Matthias is just probably gonna bring in Coco at this point. Yeah, yeah. Coco, Coco definitely. I mean, going like, for I the fake out. Going for the fake out to pressure. Yeah, fake out, fake out on the boat. Yeah, there we go. We see the yeah we, we see, see the potential for it. Oh, he's just gonna go for it. Yep, there we go. So no reason to drag it any longer. Yep, that was a very good game. Very good game. Yeah, very good game. On many, the test side as well. Many switches. Don't <laughs> compared to the first game, there's a lot of switches here and there. Expecting more from Friendly Fire, but this is above our expectations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see, you, you see the players who are shuffling the intimidates and shuffling the weather. Definitely trying to. Call out who's gonna yeah who's gonna misplay. Yeah, trying to get point. the upper hand in the weather and the intimidates and also at the same time trying to stop trick room so it's like yeah. all the switches are really really because <laughs> 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 this is what we expect from these players, right? Like yeah. They just need to play the mind games while controlling the amount of damage they're doing to each other yeah. and slowly chipping away from the Kyogre was the smartest thing that I've seen so far. Yep, Definitely. yeah. Because by chipping in the cargo slowly, the Coco is able to secure the knockout by even a vote switch. Even a vote switch. If, if it does not chip slowly, I think the Coco couldn't knock out with a vote yeah. switch or anything. And then the Fini could just heal Pulse later on. Good call. Yeah, good call from yeah. Matthias. Yeah. Anyways, Very congratulations to Matthias for winning round 2, making him 2-0 in this uh, round of 5. Yes, congratulations Matthias. And uh, we'll take a short break before we move on into the third round of Swiss, so stay tuned. Yeah.